It just doesn't look like this is going to happen. Maybe I can give it an hour or two and come back and try it again. Alright, well it wasn't me that DC'd at least. The game's playing. He has to win two games in five minutes? It's not impossible, but certainly not easy. Seems like there's no lag at all in my game, so I don't know why the stream keeps freezing. We now have three wrath effects and a removal spell and a counter spell. I think this is going to be real hard for him. Ah, he seems to have got, gotten it. He's smarter than I am. You are correct, Heath. It is that movie. I think I'm willing just to take the two. I don't know, maybe that's dumb. Like, what's he going to play on three mana that we care about? It's probably better just to use the farm now. Because, like, next turn if we use it, like, he can, like, play a Scarab or something. And all he's going to play right now, like, at best, is probably a Jade Light Ranger, which is something I don't care about. Yeah, like I don't care about that, for example. Uh, I don't think I want to play Drake here. I think I'm willing to just take three. If I take three, I mean, I'd probably settle even just that thing at this point. I don't know, maybe I take three of one turn. There's a good chance that I'm going to cycle this countervailing winds if I don't draw a card. Or sorry, if I don't uh, draw a land. And by cycle to countervailing winds, I mean almost no chance because we have an aftermath in our grave. Or sorry, a farmer market in our graveyard that I would use before that. So is the stream actually working again? It says I'm dropping 41% of my frames. It's not my computer, it's literally my connection. And I don't know how to fix the connection. I have a hard one for you, but you have to know it. If I have to know it, that means it's probably not a hard one. Alright, whatever. I give up. I'll cycle. Pull my land bad enough to cycle. I have a lot of wrath effects now. What movie has a white coach that looks just like Emilio Estevez, but isn't, and stars a basketball player named Truth? Um... Mm, nothing's ringing a bell. I think I'm hung up on the looks like Emilio Estevez but isn't. Yep, have no idea. Just 
Just go cast Fumigate. I would Google that, but I'm pretty sure that's going to come up with nothing. Rip, spell bears. Let's just Google this. Yeah, I've never watched that movie. With the Capital One Venture card, you'll earn Yeah, I've never watched that movie. In fact, I've never heard of that movie. Not just airline purchases. Oh gosh, we took a big hit, but we have this second fume game. I've never watched or heard of that movie. Is it any good? This is that old even? Wow. Oh god. <laughs> no walking ballista, no. Huh. It's kind of odd that I've never heard of it. He's got a counter spell. We could be dead. Yeah, well, we're not dead to that. If he, as long as he attacks, we're not dead. If he doesn't attack, we could have some problems. So he only has to attack with that. I think we definitely have to kill it. We're going to need to find something to get rid of that or a way to gain life. So we're going to have to play one of these. Guess we're gonna get rid of this. And this, because we're brave. He's only got 37 seconds to win two games as well. We're just gonna cast Settle here. If he's got a counter spell, we're obviously dead. Alright, we'll go ahead and concede. I'm not going to make him waste his precious few seconds. We'll give him an actual... I mean, he's got 19 seconds. I don't think he even has a chance, but... We lost a game like this, so I guess it's fair that we win a game like this. Though I do think we're very favored in the match in general and would have expected to win three full games. Fifteen new emails. Alright, well this hands this hands pretty gas. Oh sorry, hope you guys didn't hear that. That was super loud. The opponent's just F sixing. The problem with F sixing is he also has to click something to discard and it doesn't really help him. Unless the clocks are very close. See, like, like he took five seconds to discard a spell there. He could have just played a land and it would have been faster. 
<laughs> Trust me, I've learned all about that. Playing the lands is faster than just F6ing if you're going to have to discard. I've learned all about that the hard way. All right, well, we're 1-1. One, one. Hundred and thirty four hours already? That means that game is really good. I might have to hey Matt, do you mind to send me a message on Facebook, Matt, with the name of that movie and I'll try to rent it or something. You know me, I'm always the fan of the sports ball movies. ahead and jump into the next match. 3-1. We're trying to stop him from getting the nice prize. Uh, not mulliganing. We have a search. That's a pretty easy way for me to decide that I'm not going to mulligan. Oh my god, I hit mulligan. Uh, tilt. I just misclicked. I am off it today. And this hand's really bad too, comparatively speaking. Tilt. Playing like trash, deserve to lose all the dude all day. Playing like trash, deserve to lose all the dude all day. Well, if it counts, most people who make the play he just made are playing a tokens match. And token, okay, well, it's not token, so I take it back. Yeah, the mistake was really, really bad. <laughs> this is a pretty good match for us. Pretty good match, but we made a pretty bad mistake. Had we made the correct play... And he didn't have a counterspell this turn, we would have just won. Hey, Chad, thank you for following right when I make a completely boneheaded play. I eat paint chips. Wow, 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 nom, nom, nom. It's probably, uh, probably not nice to joke about considering, like, you know, somebody somewhere probably got messed up eating paint chips. Hey, Dong, what's up, man? I just mulligan to turn two search for Ascanta. Um, it's kind of hard to tell so far, Chad. Uh, game one, we got disconnected and basically lost a timeout in a fairly interesting match. Sorry, round one. Uh, round two, our opponent had internet connection issues and he timed out in a fairly interesting match. And this is just round three with the deck, and you saw how stupid of a mistake I already made just in the mulligan phase. So, I don't, I don't know if I'm qualified to make any comments about the deck yet. I do know that we're going to go ahead and try to resolve this now, which is one of the reasons I went ahead and played into a counterspell. If he doesn't have a negate and this abandoned sarcophagus resolves, that's a huge, huge play for us. Overall, we've played the deck before, though. This is the sixth or seventh time we've played the deck, and overall, it's felt pretty good. Wish you could even play your lands out of your graveyard, but unfortunately you can't. I think we, besides the misclick on our mulligan, I think we make 
above average but not perfect decisions when we play the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and try to cast this right now while it's uh Oh. Alright, well now we're just looking for a Drake Haven to close this game out. We're now ahead on lands, we're now ahead on cards, we have four hard answers. They typically only have four or five threats. Oh, does it? I figured I figured Grixis would be easy. I didn't realize that would be a match you struggled versus. That surprises me. So basically we just have to make sure we don't deck ourselves, but we have a Rivulet and a Sheffit Dunes in our deck, so realistically speaking, I think there's a good chance we can deck him before we deck ourselves. Yeah, don't know that one either. I'm bad at movie quotes, mainly because I don't watch a lot of movies. Well, that's not true. I watch a lot of movies. I watch a very a uh, small subsection of movies, I guess is what I should try to say. What I like, I watch a lot of, but... Oh, well there's a Drake Haven. And it doesn't look like he has mana to protect it, so... Like, he would have to have double negate now to stop this Drake Haven from resolving. And if this Drake Haven resolves, like, I mean... We're just high on the hog. Any of these decks that can't deal with a resolved enchantment, I always feel like I'm a giant favorite versus. I don't watch any anime. I feel like I would like anime if I gave it a try, but I don't I don't watch any. Oh, you're probably right, Heath. That makes a lot of sense. definitely makes a lot of sense that movie's really good too and i've watched that movie a lot so that one i'm actually embarrassed about always yes always yield i'm actually embarrassed i don't know that one because i've watched that movie quite a few times and i really like it what is this just a random gear hook that i don't care about yeah i don't care about you Heath, uh, Heath's been at Pay Tree before. I've not saw the sequel yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and cycle this too. Actually, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I changed my mind. I'm not cycling it. At least Scarab God's not real threatening in this match. Look, he may just try to resolve it now. It's not even that bad for us if he does. Probably still going to try to counterspell it. Well, I guess I'm not. I can't really anyway. Look how that always yields just not working. I feel without him being able to get value out of this uh, Scarab God that we, ju we can just race it kind of easily. Especially when we already have a chef at Dunes on the table? No, you killed my Drake. That's rude AF, fam. We're trying to race you. 
I may just cast a settle this turn because I don't really need to settle. Yeah. Ooh -wee. Still have enough mana to make two drakes. Or even cast a hieroglyphic illumination and make one drake. If he wants to waste counter spells on spells like this, like it's not bad for me. Kind of playing fast and loose, but kind of feel like the game's already over. Maybe it's not. Let's not play a little, uh, a little tighter. Well, they could have, uh, I think there's a card called Consign or whatever, and another card that, uh, let you just like shuffle cards back in, so like that's things I have to pay attention to. Just casting the the Drakes because of. Okay, I take it back. I like how I just didn't cast my Renewed Fate there. I think I had three mana, but I've already forgot. What are you excited about? Can you just not hide it? I'm excited that my internet's worked for almost a whole two games. I mean, my internet's worked for almost two full games. I shouldn't jinx it. I'm sorry, internet. Please don't go away. Stay with us forever. Consigning Oblivion, and then there's Commit in Memory as well. Oh, for your video game. Cool. Yeah. I might buy that game this month. It's like 20 bucks or, so, or 12 bucks or something, but like maybe it's 15 bucks. I forget, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty cheap, but I may buy it. Or is it Civ 6 I'm going to buy? I forget. Whichever one's on the Humble Bundle, I may buy and try to play with you guys. If I get any free time ever. It does seem like the type of game I would enjoy. So if I get a Cycler, I'm going to make two more Drakes. If I don't get a Cycler, I'm going to buy back to Hieroglyphic Illumination. As the game is randomly paused for a second, so I have to go stare at my dropped frames to see if it's me or see if it's them. Alright, sweet. <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah, he can have that. I'm not going to use a counter spell on a Gear Hulk because I don't care about the Gear Hulk. I'd be actual shocked if the Gear Hulk could beat me in a race right now. Especially when we have 12 life out of our graveyard. I guess they could have a consign or something. Maybe I need to worry about cards like that. You just start thinking about how I can lose the game instead of how I'm going to win the game. Because I feel like I've already won the game. I just have to make sure I don't throw it away. Hey, Cory Cool Cat. What's up, man? We get to bring in our sweet blue cyborg card, don't we? We get to test it out in this match. <laughs> that way he can find some way to kill it and Scarab got it and make me cut myself. Sorry, I shouldn't make cutting jokes. Alright. I'm just going to cast another one of these. How's it going? Which build did he play? I have saw several builds lately that have... Uh, the Alinda, I think is what it's called. That new mythic. Don't know if I'm a fan of that new mythic. If he just wants to keep using counter spells here, that's fine. Because we've got this at the end of it, and next turn we're going to buy this back, and we can buy as many as four drakes out. Which is pretty sweet. Yes. 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 Wait. I don't know your last name. I just realized that. I'm pretty sure you're... a. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys have the same name, last name. If it begins with a, if, if, uh, if you have, uh, Blasting Cannons named after you, then yes. 
All right, so this car seemed outstanding in this match. These seem outstanding in this match. These seem outstanding in this match. And I want to try this card. I don't know how much I'm going to like it and how much I'm not going to like it, but if I want it anywhere, I definitely want it here. Uh... I like picking my own I like picking my own countries and things like that. Uh I think I still want some fumigates because there's sometimes they get a scarab got out and like buy back a glen or something. Um But for the most part I don't want very many of them and I think I want to get rid of all the renewed fates. I'm not actually sure what I want to get out for the last card though. Maybe I just want to get rid of both fumigates and bring in a settle as well. I guess the fumigates just maybe not be not worth it at all. Just got this big thing. Let's hope it does something. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Uh, well, we have this big thing in our hand. I think we're going to keep this hand. We have a lot of... Si oh, wow. I thought this was a field of runes. It looks like I've started to lag again. Hot dang. Woo! Love it when our internet goes out. Wait. Okay, we're back. I really thought this was a field of rune. I thought I had two lands in my hand. <laughs> I'm the best. You people, you people just don't even know that I'm the best around. A casual keep seven drop. Oh god, no, not that thing. That thing, that thing's the only card in their deck that I really care about. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The only card in your deck I care about, my friend. Well, we have two semi-removal spells for it, I guess. Probably going to be cycling both of these eliminations. At least one, and then we'll decide whether we're cycling a sensor or something else. But he's got more! Oh, vomit! The thing's got considerably harder for us. Why didn't I cycle the first on turn one? Um, there was a chance that we needed those things and we'd already hit a land. We have time to cycle in later turns as well. I don't think, uh, I don't think our friendly settled wreckages are going to be enough here. Like, to play this card, we really need to get the card advantage out of Hieroglyphs, and I was hoping to not have to cycle them. But, uh, that kind of went out the window when he played the second one of those. I guess it was kind of, or sorry, when he played the first one, technically. Alright, well, he gets to draw, you know, two cards this turn, three cards next turn. I'm not actually sure how we're supposed to get by him with a motley crew of settled wreckages, but we're going to try. These things end the game pretty quickly, too. Well, there's some chance that he didn't draw a counterspell, right? If he didn't draw a counterspell, we have a chance. <laughs> yes, there's some chance he didn't draw a counterspell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're pretty SOL if he, uh, a Supreme Will, shucks. It's just half our life total. And a settled wreckage? No! And how good would Fumigate be right now?
How good was Fumigate be? This will guarantee you get rid of one of them, but... I'm taking a great leap of faith right now to think that the Primal Tide might be able to win over a Search for Ascanta in the late game, but like... That's probably wrong. This probably is just wrong. I I don't even know. Why did he have to draw another? Uh, I don't actually know what's in your sideboard, but. Basically, you just want all your rafts and stuff. Pretty much the same way you would sideboard versus teamer with probably, except you probably don't want the negates. Maybe he's going to draw two more cards and they're not going to be a uh, counterspell again. Don't do it, brother. Don't you do it, brother. Oh, you got me. You got me. These wounds cut so deep. Draw you a couple more cards. We'll get there. We can't play the Primal Tide here because... I kind of don't even want to show it to him at this point. I'm pretty sure this game is over and I don't want him thinking about Varaska's Contempt. Eh, we, we may cast it if uh, this settle resolves. Who knows? Probably just gonna have double counter spell and beat us here. Are we dead? Or do we get one more turn? We're dead. All right. That's the game. I still don't think we really want the uh, Fuming Gates like we have. 12 ways to try to fight them and Drake Havens that can like block them. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's enough. I think it's just kind of kind of unfortunate that uh, he was on the play plus Drew 3. If he wasn't on the play, the first one wouldn't have resolved and then like it wouldn't have compounded. Yeah, they're pretty good. All right, well, we have to keep this hand because we have a turn two search. No duress, bro. Sweet, that's not a duress. But in cancel? I don't... I don't have a cancel. Council? Oh, Caracal. I, I, I don't put in Caracal versus any deck that has Scarab God. Because I'm too afraid they're going to counterspell and then just buy it back with Scarab God. I typically, I'm just willing to lose to things like Lost Legacy. This is a competitive league. Uh, put a search for Ascanta in our graveyard. Why, yes.
Need to draw like a farm or something real quick to tax his men on his turn and our turn. Would counterspell anything that he tries to resolve right now that we can. I believe we're gonna counterspell it with this one. Uses the mana slightly better. Oh, I only had one card in my graveyard. I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I deserve to lose. Wow, I absolutely deserve to lose. Wrecked. I'm terrible. Oh my god, that was so bad. It's like one of those mistakes that can cost you entire games. I am a trash can. La 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 la. No one will ever be as big a trash can as me. Build the runes in my graveyard? Nope. We'll keep it. A to make Das Kanta bad. And B because it lets us resolve our Drake Haven. I was just trying to get him to tap out, guys. That way, that way he couldn't spell pierce us that turn. That was all planned. That, that was planned. We were just trying to get him to tap out so he couldn't resolve a spell pierce. I obviously know what I'm doing. I did not make a play error. How dare you suggest such? <laughs> I'm a trash can. I'm so, so very bad. <laughs> How dare you guys even, even, even slightly suggest that I played less than perfect, ever. <laughs> I'm so very bad. How many times can I say I'm bad? I bet I can say it a lot. That was a pretty bad play. I almost made that play in game two as well. So like it was even fresh on my mind and I still just went like burr, 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 burr. That probably sounded a lot weirder than I thought it would. People were thinking the Sears can make players. Come on. Me another cycler. But don't don't play a gear hulk. Nobody wants to watch you play a gear hulk. <laughs> oh god, no. Our opponent don't realize that people come to watch me beat gear hulks. Not not him to play gear hulks. Just gonna tell Biante. Bunte, Bunte, that he's rude. Rude AF fam. I can't even press F6 because I might draw another cycler. I just want to press F6. That's not a cycler at all. It's going to have to be a pretty good card for me not to put it in my grave. Ooh, that, that's such a good card. Let's still go into my graveyard. I want my I need my ass canta. I think we can outrace a gear hook. Maybe. Depending on what he has to go with it. I mean, we can probably resolve a settle. I think I'm gonna try to resolve a settle. I have not got to play versus that, but somebody in chat earlier come in and said that they had just lost to it. He's got a double counter spell. This is obviously sucky for us. Oh, 
Well, that's basically double counter spell in the spot. Oh, why didn't I censor it? Oh my god, I didn't censor that! <laughs> I didn't censor that! Ah, <laughs> I'm so bad! I'm so bad, take me away! Why do I play this game? Why? Why do I play this game? Why? Why do we play this game? <laughs> just... I just want to go. I just want to go home. I blame the stress of the internet being very bad and costing me matches already. Oh, I didn't want to censor the negate. I actively wanted the cycle for the negate. We don't have essence scatters in our deck or anything, so... I guess at this point I just want more drakes before I want to use the Ascanta. Get a chef at Dunes we can just race, right? That's another Drake Haven. I think I'm lagging in and out, and I think that's what's causing people to be behind. I'm just gonna play this. A pretty good chance that he has a, like a disallow or something, but I think it's the best option that I have. I think he needs something fairly decent here, but... Like, he, he definitely needs a way to at least kill a drake. Are you on a cell phone or on your internet? Alright, well, we're gonna take this, I think. I think we're just gonna take this. So he has to have a removal spell where this is 10. I guess he could have a disallow to stop me from getting a trigger, but I don't know how that lets him win the game. I played this game bad. He's gonna disall well. He's not gonna disallow. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna gear hook and disallow my trigger. So if we hit a one mana cycler, we probably just win. We don't hit a one mana cycler, we have to put some thought into it. Cast outs in our abandoned sarcophagus. Okay. The odds of the cast out resolving are pretty low, I think. The odds of a spell resolving are pretty low. So. Taking the abandoned sarcophagus doesn't really get us anywhere, I don't think.
<laughs> ah, well, it doesn't get us anywhere, so... We need to be able to block at least two things here. So if we leave three back and attack for four... I'm not sure how we win this game. So if we leave three black back to play around a removal spell and attack for two, he goes to six, back to eight, and we lose up to three of our things and can only attack back for four. If we leave everything back, we can put eight things on the one, two on the other, we lose three drakes total, keep four. Um, I guess we just pass then. Put a glint in his graveyard there. Let's see what's in this hand. I think we would have won this game easy if I hadn't played very, very, very poorly. So we go down to four. If he's got double removal spell, I mean, that's obviously horrible for us. If he doesn't have double, I think we're still in okay-ish shape. Well, let's start with this. Let's see if it resolves. Oh wow, he pressed F6. That that resolved like crazy. Alright, so I guess we're just not gonna attack now? Leave both of these back another turn. And basically we're trying to avoid him drawing Scarab at the moment, but we have another cast out, so him drawing Scarab is not even the end of the world. He put a Disallow in his graveyard. That's great for us. Certainly double block here if he attacks. We have a countervailing winds in our graveyard too, so all we gotta do is get to the part where we untap. Get to the part where we untap, that's wonderful. I think it's gonna be hard for us to lose from this spot with an Urbana Sarcophagus in play. I think he conceded even. Like, maybe he didn't? Okay, he didn't. Let's say we're having like some really weird lag there, so I think he may have conceded, but. Alright, I don't think I'm casting to Drake Haven this turn. Can't really flip search for Ascanta. He gets one card if he flips search for Ascanta. It doesn't seem very good. Can we go ahead and kill this now? To like try to stop him from getting a disallow with it? Uh, I've not got to check tweeter boot or boot. I've been having interconnection all uh, all days. I'll go check it right now. How have you been going, by the way, boot? I've been on a weird sleep schedule, so I've not got to see too many streams lately. Let's go check her right now. I didn't get anything today. 
Oh, yeah, the thing from Sam yesterday. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Yeah, I got that. I appreciate that a lot. Um, hopefully, he said he said in a few days he'd have some information for us, so he's going to try to work with us. So he's got a negate. The gate goes a long way in this spot. Another search for Ascanta. We'll let that resolve. Nice, man. Yeah, it'd be nice if it does. Um, I'm really going to be sad if it doesn't. <laughs> that's for sure. We'll start with this. Let's see if we get something that we care about. And we get this thing. I think I would rather use it and draw some cards than, uh, than draw two cards out of the graveyard. I'd rather just get two drakes here. That negates really nice for him, though. Oh, I only have one Drake. <laughs> I'm so dumb. The other one's in my hand. <laughs> Come on, guys. The other one's in my hand. We knew it. That, that countervailing wins is pretty much exactly the card we want. So go ahead and try to get all over this search for Ascanta. So he doesn't have very many turns to draw something very impactful. Do you think I'm going to go ahead and get a Drake here and draw a card? Really just want the countervailing winds in my graveyard. So he's going to stop me from getting a Drake, but it doesn't stop me from putting that in my graveyard. I think I'll save that one. Sarcophagus is just insane in these games. If you get lucky and resolve one, or like you, you, you play one at a fairly even board state in the mid game, even when you're significantly behind, it just like doesn't matter. You just snowball from there. It's kind of like playing pool from tomorrow, but like you only pay three mana. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and counterspell things like that. Just don't want him drawing any cards at all. We know the one card in his hand's bad, so we know we're going to get two uh, cards off this countervailing wind and be able to counterspell the next thing he draws. So that should give us two guaranteed attacks. So that, that should, in theory, lock up the game. And there's some percentage chance that we just win. Like, we could draw, like, a Chef at Dunes or something. Or, like, another, uh, another Cycler into a Chef at Dunes, I mean. But, like, it locks up a counterspell for, like, the next thing he plays. Just say, eh! I thought I hit concede game for a second. That's what, that's what that noise was. So I played this game literally as badly as we can play it. And I believe we're still gonna win. Um, I used to think this deck was better, but now I kind of think approach is better. I think approach is a little bit better versus... Um, like the Grixis mid-range decks, the blue-black reanimator decks, things of that nature. I think this deck is better versus like the blue-black control decks and the mid-range decks and the aggro decks. So like they're they're good for versus different parts of the metagame. Um, but I've been getting paired versus like tons of like GPG decks and stuff like that. And approach just seems a little bit better versus those decks. Uh, approach seems a little bit better versus tokens. Um, things like that, but overall they're very similar. You just play them when you're expecting different metas. Um, oh wow, the match started immediately. We lost round one to timing out, so we, we should be 3-0 in this event, even though I tried my best to lose that game. Like, I asked my opponent to beat us multiple times and he just didn't. 
But like versus a lot of decks like blue black, it almost feels like as soon as you start resolving enchantments, the game's over. Like a lot of decks just can't compete versus the enchantments. And like the settles and fumigates are still pretty good. Like this is the second now black green based deck we've got paired versus, and like settles are so insane here. I think we might want a third farm and one less sweeper though. Like the farms have been overperforming and the sweepers haven't been overperforming. I can't believe how badly I played last round. I can't believe anybody in here is watching after after just the just the terrible, terrible I did. Suck. Um, let me pull it up. Uh, it's not super updated. Like, I've been working on it, and I probably need to make some sideboard changes, but I really like the main deck. Um, the sideboard probably needs some more tuning, but I really, really like my main deck. The Gideon in the main deck is probably not good, but I thought I was going to get paired versus a lot of approach matches, so like, it was kind of a little bit of a hedge. I, I thought there would be a ton of mirrors when I put the Gideon in the main deck. It should probably just be a Supreme Will or a Disallow. Based on how many Drakehaven decks I've saw lately too, I think it's arguable that I should have a... Uh, I think it's arguable that I should potentially have a fourth rivulet in the main deck just for this meta. So he's got two cards in hand. We're going to take a fairly large hit here. Let's all cycle this one then, because we could get some use out of the countervailing winds later. If he plays around to settle, we're going to have some rough times, I think. Uh, providing we don't draw Fumigate. Never mind, we drew Fumigate. Yeah, I, th I think in this meta that we do. Like, there's just a lot of Drake decks. Uh, drunk, I have signed up for it, but my grandmother broke her hip, and I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to. We don't know if there'll be anybody to uh, stay with my papa. So I've signed up for it, I even prepaid for it, I prepaid for it back in December. Hopefully I get to, but it's not. there's no guarantee as of right now. I don't know what I'm going to play. I wanted to play Merfolk, but my boxes aren't going to come in until Monday, so there's about no chance I'm going to get to play Merfolk. Yeah, the mana base was the biggest thing that turned me off of that, too. I also didn't think Fatal Push was good enough in the meta. Um, if Fatal Push is good enough in the meta, then, like, it's clearly a great deck, but it just wasn't, it wasn't good enough for me in my limited sample size. The Vraska's Contempt was kind of impressive, but like I don't want to play black for a double for a double splash. And being able to kill people with Scarab God's pretty nice too, but like I've just not felt like I needed it. Uh, there's another guy in chat, I don't know if he's still here or not, but his name is Heath. And Heath plays the uh, the Esper build to pretty large success. Like he does really well with it. Oh, I, I, I'm not going to be playing the main or the. I'm not going to be playing the Moto PTQ. I didn't know there was a Moto PTQ. What uh, what uh, what what PT is it for? And what day is it in? Or what day is it on? Not what day is it in. Now Scarab's insane. Nobody can ever accuse Scarab of being bad. If they do, I'm going to slap them. So, I'm not actually going to slap anybody. I don't believe in violence, but nobody cares about the Ray's personal beliefs. Tokens is pretty good right now. Tokens is really good versus Drakehaven as well. Yeah, 
try, oh, we're gonna try to farm this thing. Now, Forsake has been impressing me too. Pete Ward. Four, five, six, seven, seven. We can technically counter that. I think I'm going to because I can just play my abandoned sarcophagus next turn. Uh, Pete Ward had him in his deck versus me, and he uh, they they super impressed. Why do you say Ray? Who said Ray? Uh, Glacial Fortress and Sir Graveyard, yes. Flip it, yes. Ray. Who said Ray? Apparently I missed something. Uh, my nickname's Ray. So, that could be why I said Ray. I talk about myself in the third person a lot. Maybe I said Ray and I'm just so used to saying the Ray that I don't uh, pay attention to it. Yeah, that is the one beautiful thing about Esper. Esper can actually beat Lost Legacies, whereas the blue-white version can almost not beat Lost Legacy. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Th th I was talking about myself. Like I said, my nickname's Ray. <laughs> or Ray-Ban, Ray, for short. <laughs> my bad, man. <laughs> but th that's the one super benefit of the Esper. And I actually think that teamers out of the meta now that there's a good chance that esper's just better than blue white but i've not had a chance to test it yet it's something i need to test and haven't had a chance to test yet all right so anyway they are playing sneakity snakities and versus sneakity snakities we like the settled wreckage we like some of the regal caracals and we typically like the bindings, though the bindings aren't guaranteed good because of blossoming defense. But they typically sideboard some number of blossoming defenses out. Um, for the most part, I definitely want to cut the Renewed Fates. I feel like I can typically shave one Drake Haven in a match like this. And I never know what the last card to take out is. I think I want to shave just like one Drake Haven and one Regal Caracol. Uh, I'll probably bring the Drake Haven back in on the play. <laughs> oh, no, no worries, Murph. Yeah, man, it's it's almost hard for me to remember my own name at some points. So I've been called. Uh, my my nickname originated when I was a child. I used to have glasses, like the big fit glasses, you know. I don't know if any of you people are old enough to remember the old glass bottles um, that like soda pop come in. So like my glasses were thick like the bottom of like Coke bottles. And one of my older cousins, you know, he was already in high school and stuff, uh, was insulting them and said that they looked like aviator Ray-Bans. And, you know, I'm just a little kid and I think that's just cool as heck. So it just kind of become my nickname. I didn't realize they were insulting me. No, I got to play versus that deck. What? That's my sensor, bro. Brohim? Uh, I've not got to play versus that deck yet. Corey told me he played it, and I think he thought it was pretty cool. But I've not got a chance to. I'm kind of surprised that he took sensor. Dead Eye Tracker, but we don't really care about our graveyard. It lost its worst, or it lost its uh, worst match too, though. It was like Mono Red was its worst match, and Teamer was its best match. So it's kind of like odd. You'd think it'd still be able to be played. Like Bristling Hydra feels really good versus a lot of decks. Right, so that's in his hand. That's in his graveyard. 
I was thinking that, but then, like, he just didn't. So, like, maybe he's just got more discard spells and is going to play around my stuff? Maybe he's going to, like, Lost Legacy Fumigate? I don't know. Yeah, I'll put a Plains in my graveyard. Why not? I don't, I don't know what his plan is here. Maybe he's got, uh, like, Nissa Planeswalker and Veraska Planeswalker and plans on just winning the game with them? Okay, so he's going to take our settle and slap us for another big hit. If he doesn't get this dead eye tracker down quick, it's not going to do anything. Hmm. I think I'm willing to take six. Wizard data is insane if they think they could beat RR with it. I beat basically everything but RR with it. Maybe they have Heroic Intervention. Yeah, that's something we didn't think about. Maybe they have Heroic Intervention. I guess I need to play this then. Uh, they have the same power, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. They could have Heroic Intervention. I should have done this during my main phase then and played around uh, taking the extra damage from Blossoming Defense. Okay. That card's not that scary. You were in fact passing to me, and it was a train wreck, man. Do not want to put that in my graveyard. It was an actual train wreck, Goose. Uh, yeah, I believe it was... Was it yesterday or the day before? I play this thing first. I'm willing to just die to a lot of things here, but I think it was yesterday, and I'm pretty sure every single deck I played yesterday was a uh, was an actual train wreck. Hey, a cow. What's up, man? Yeah, I think. I think that I was trying to go merfolk in that draft and like because I opened up uh, some pretty good stuff and it just didn't work out very well. Uh, sure, I'll put that in my graveyard. Mainly because we're going to get to flip the search for next turn if we survive the next turn. The fact that he played the Liliana means he didn't have a heroic intervention that turn, so like we have some outs here. Or like the game's certainly not over here. We know one of the cards in his hand as well is just... Just like a random dead eye tracker that we don't carry anything about. Like this card does nothing here. And we got to flip this, so that's nice. I'm actually going to cast a Fumigate now, I guess. I don't really want to cast Fumigate here. He's only got one card in his hand, though. I think I'm just going to cast a Fumigate to, like, protect our Banda Sarcophagus. Well, uh, what I was going to say is I think I was trying to go Merfolk and felt like I was cut off from Merfolk and then switched out of Merfolk. Um, mainly because we drew the Banda Sarcophagus. I don't want to, I don't want to lose the stuff in my graveyard from this spot. That was, that was a bad play. I shouldn't have played that one, I don't think. Um, we have a counter, but he doesn't have any card that he can play that I want to counter other than a Planeswalker. And if he'd had, if he'd had any good card in his hand whatsoever, he would have played it that turn. And I'm pretty sure that if we get their Abandoned Sarcophagus out, we just win the game. Eh. We got Max Punished, by the way. Got absolutely Max Punished. Well, I, was, I didn't really want to play the counterspell with the, uh, the Abandoned out. Like, I was kind of trying to avoid that. 
didn't work out that I got to do it, but I was trying to avoid doing that. And I had a hieroglyphic illumination in my graveyard that was already there that I didn't want him to eat. Uh, we'll just take the Drake Haven. Now, I know what her band sarcophagus does. That's why I was saying I was trying not to make that play. I was hoping that I didn't have to use a counter spell in that manner. Yeah, I didn't want him to use the dead eye. I wanted to protect the graveyard since we droned our band or since we droned this. Cause like like with uh with that card Alright, I guess I'll just cycle on both. With uh with the dead eye tracker in play, like I couldn't cycle the uh I couldn't cycle the countervailing winds or anything. So I was like trying to set it up to get max value out of the countervailing winds and then it just like didn't uh didn't work out really well for me. Yeah. It's actually not bugged out for me, but I've saw I've saw the cast out stuff like getting exiled a lot. The second cycle was really bad by the way. I was just trying to get F six value. Like that was that was pretty horrible of me. I don't think it matters, but like it was still pretty horrible of me. I should have saw the card beforehand and then made a decision. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't know what he could have got off of us with the Gonti. I guess he could have got a counter spell. I'm just gonna hold our stuff back. Actually, he's just gonna go ahead and play the Regal Caracal too. So I've done that bad. I should have cast a Regal Caracal pre-combat because if he didn't have, if he had a counter spell, I don't want to attack, and if he doesn't have a counter spell, I do want to attack. So that was kind of uh, that was really poorly played by me. Yeah, I've not played this game particularly well. He has no cards in his hand. He drew a field of runes too, which can kill our first Ascanta, but now we've drawn the second Ascanta, so it's not that big of a deal. If he doesn't use the Dreadlands, we're going to double block. If he does use the Dreadlands, I mean, we can't. Yeah, I believe, I mean, he's got more outs than that, like, all we have to do is brick a few turns and he's in okay shape, right? But I'd like to find a wins to, uh, to not lose to that card for sure. Take care, Heath. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, Drakehaven, so, three, four. So we can't get a thing this turn. I think I still kind of want it. Eh, I guess I don't want it. I've not played very well tonight at all. I think every night that I start off disconnecting every other, like, three minutes is a night that I'm going to be unfocused the whole night. Goodbye, my Drake buddies. We will miss you. All right, well, at least we get to see what's coming. Walking Ballista. Is that a good draw? If so, why? 
Yep, he's gonna keep that one. Hey, Mr. MJ. Wow, 755 viewers. That is sick. All right, well, he's definitely gonna keep the walking ballista here. Um, so I guess we have to try to find a counterspell. We don't really have an option not to try to find a counterspell. Eh, cast out less a cycle at least. Whoops, I clicked those in the wrong order. Well, highly appreciate it, Mr. Michael Jacobs. Uh, I kind of need a block or two, so I guess I'm going to pay the one here. But we really basically have to hit a countervailing winds. There's not one in our graveyard, I don't think. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have two sensors in our graveyard. So if he plays it, he can only play it for three. And then we can try to cast out it and stay at one. So I guess we're not dead, even if we miss. Well, I can only double censor it if he does it for the full value, which he may not. Or he may just wait and try to draw a land later. But if he waits and draws a land, that gives us extra turn. Yeah, but hopefully, hopefully he messes up and we can double censor it. Ah, right, well, we're just blocking here. Something with beanie hats? Hey, thank you, Outlier, for the follow, man. I really gotta get emotes. I'm gonna stream every single day. I need to get emotes. Yeah, so he's waiting. But him waiting's not awful for us because it gives us uh, chances to draw things. For example, countervailing wins. Hello, our friend. I put those on the wrong order again. I need to be paying attention to how I put them because we are going to cycle back through them. So that countervailing wins is uh, pretty solid here. Can't press F6 because we might draw something. This game has been like walking on eggshells. I think I'm actually just going to cast out the Jade Light Ranger and attack. Um, because I thought that I might need to draw extra. I wanted as much mana as I could possibly get that turn to give us as many draw steps as possible to find uh, countervailing wins. We know that he has a lethal winding constrictor in hand, and we know that uh, because of the lethal. Uh, because of the lethal winding constrictor, we had to find we had to find the countervailing winds before he got too far ahead. But that's why I chose that. Uh, I've liked standard this entire time, but I, I think the general consensus is that yes, standard is better now. A hey, bluster butts and Acadio. Uh, thank you guys for following. But, like, basically, there was uh, two countervailing wins left in our deck. And we really, really needed to find one. And I thought I was going to be able to cast the... Uh, I thought I might need to cast the Illumination and stuff to draw extra cards that particular turn. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, I misspoke. Walking Ballista, not Winding Constrictor. Uh... Yeah, I'm not very bright. Anyway, going pretty well today. This first game that we lost was because we got disconnected for like five or six minutes. Our opponent had 17 seconds left on the clock, and we had a commanding board position. with uh, We had like a countervailing winds in our hand, a search for Ascanta in our hands that we just couldn't play. I mean, we would have been able to play it if we wasn't worried about the clock. We had a Drakehaven in play. We had uh, an Urbanus Sarcophagus that we didn't even try to protect one turn. 
Yeah, yeah, no, it was a great match, but, like, we didn't really get to play the match. Timing out was really sucky. Well, he, why would he concede? He, 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 first of all, I lost fair and square due to the time limits, but second of all, he can't see my hand, like, right, like, like, he doesn't know that I have those spells in my hand, so why would he concede? As far as he knows, it's still a game. Like, it's unknown information that is how I knew I was going to win. It wasn't, it wasn't like I had lethal on the board or something, you know? But, uh, we'll mulligan. Well, definitely keep this. I've never mulliganed the hand purposely that's had that spell in it. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the bottom. There's enough matches right now that Fumigate's not particularly great versus. Yeah, he had 17 seconds left on time, and I timed out. But I had got disconnected for for five or six minutes that match. So the match felt pretty good. It was a pretty fun match. I'm actually interested in going back. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Z Magic's good people. I'm not trying to say anything negative about him. In fact, he's probably who I'll be hosting when we leave. Really, I really like Xander. There's Zane. Zane, I, I really like Zane. Zane's good folks. But yeah, like I said, like he can't he can't see our hand or anything. He has absolutely no idea that we're doing that good. I mean, why would you concede? We're at a low life total and stuff. Do I want to put a second Drake Haven in my graveyard? Uh, it's unclear. If he's playing Drake Havens himself, we want it. But if he's playing Approach, we don't really want it. I don't think I'm going to put it in my graveyard, though. I think I'm going to keep it. Because either version, or no matter which of those two decks he's playing, um, he could easily, you know, there's tons of cast outs and stuff. Hey, Luciano Gunma, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Thank you for the follow. Uh, I'm from Eastern Kentucky. Well, keep in mind, I don't think I was actually ahead on board. I think the board was pretty even. Had mastermind and used it to bring it along. That's kind of cool. Uh, I think I'm actually going to keep this. I was going to go to our graveyard anyway, but we get to cycle it this way. I'm actually going to go ahead and play the farmlands too, because we're going to want every land that we have this match, I believe. Uh, because my internet is terrible, Dan Boops. My internet is terrible. It's absolutely trash. No, it had nothing to do with MTGO. It was 100% to do with my internet connection. Nothing to do with MTGO. I actually have very few problems with MTGO except for just bugged cards that everybody has problems with. But it was a hundred percent my connection. Like I had, uh, I had to power cycle my modem and everything to get it back on. It kind of ruined the first two matches of this stream. My well, internet's been pretty consistent lately. I guess it's because we've been down into like five and six degree weathers that my internet just doesn't know how to handle it. We have more counter spells than them in the main deck. Um, I'm pretty confident now that I've saw the Supreme Will that they're just playing approach, and because we have more counter spells than them. Um, I feel like we need to try to find them. And when I say we have more counter spells than them, I'm obviously taking a grand, a grand leap. I don't know how many they have. Plum rent it. What's up, Zep? Have you opened your boxes yet, man? Any of them at all? Um, but our hand's pretty bad in this spot. Seven hundred and fifty-five viewers. I think that's the most people that's ever been anywhere near this channel. Let, send me a uh, message on Facebook and let me know how they go. Uh, that's our only field of runes, but. I still don't think I'm going to keep it here. feel like I'm going to try to find some type of interaction. 
Thanks, Zep. I'll check it out after the match. This is probably going to be the last match for us tonight. But luckily, it's a blue-white mirror, so maybe it'll maybe it'll take a while and we'll get to see some interesting lines or something. Could have potentially cycled that during, but I didn't want to get fumigated. Like, I just didn't want to turn on a fumigate for one turn. I don't think us missing a land's that big of a deal. I'm going to try to play faster, though, in case time comes to an issue. Definitely play with... I think I'm going to keep that, too. We're just going to cycle it and get to uh, minimum two more drakes. Well, I guess you shouldn't say minimum two more drakes. He could have a cast out or something. But if he has a cast out, he's going to use it on search for Ascantus, so... There's a gear hulk. Interesting. Not worried too much about the gear hulk. A little worried about uh, approach. Definitely don't think I'm worried about the gear hulk. In fact, I'm probably just going to take five this turn. I'm not going to consider to settle, I don't think. Hopefully we'll cycle into something else that cycles so that we can uh, turn our search for Ascant on before he finds a cast out. Opponent does have very nice taste of basic lands. Not using the right addition of those basic lands, but they are nice. Alright, cool. So, very likely no approach, or maybe he's playing around sensor, who knows. I think we win this race kind of easily, though, so... Especially since we have the Settle, or the, the Chef at Dunes. My auto yields went away. Why did my auto yields go away? Well, we know how we're trying to counter or kill that thing next turn. I will put another Drake Haven in my graveyard. I can't imagine wanting more than two. Good settle. Not really worried about him using settle. Us getting more lands right now is not bad for us. Yeah, but we have a second one in our hand, right? Uh, and we don't have to flip it, it's a May. Probably should have got another white mana there. I thought I clicked too. I don't actually have very good vision. I did think I'd click too, though. Could counterspell my pharma market. I don't think he'll counterspell this because he has to counterspell the back end of it too, or we just have blockers back. Alright, I'm wrong. He's going to counterspell that. Find that a bit odd. Yeah, we'll put a glacial fortress in our graveyard. Um I don't think we're gonna try to flip it this turn. Because we have things to use our mana on this turn.
wasn't paying attention. Double check to see whether we played a land real quick. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, he could cast like a fumigate now, but that's not that big of a deal. Because we got the hieroglyphic illumination and some more tries at it. We gotta try to get this game over with though before. Hey, Flame Guts, what's up, man? Before he starts getting to approach us. Hey, Rich Boy, thank you for the follow. Highly appreciate it. Uh. Let's go grab a white mana now. Um, the connection's been pretty bad tonight, but it does seem to be going right now. He attacks of that, I'm just going to quad block it. I'm willing to give up two of my things to, to stop that from being something I have to worry about the rest of the game. We're not lethal either way. The deck I saw last night, um, the, the amulet deck, I have not, I've not really done anything magic related. Hey, uh, drunk face, I highly appreciate the follow, man. All right, I'm probably willing to take the damage now. I don't know. I don't know if I'm willing to take the damage. I think I'm just going to play into fumigate. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about fumigate then. Maybe he's not playing Approach. Oh, you have been. Okay, cool, cool. I know I like that deck. The uh, The way you killed me was great. I really wish that, uh, I really wish that that video wasn't going to get ruined because I'd like people to be able to watch that replay. But alas, it's gone forever. He's used this field of runes now, so I'm going to flip my Ascanta now. What's this? Oh, just a glimmer? A main phase glimmer? I guess he's that worried about me counterspelling it. He put on top. He put on top top, so that's probably a bad sign. Cast out, I guess I'll keep it because it cycles. I don't super want it. I should just play this too. Um, so how much mana do we need this turn? We need three for the Ascanta, one for the cycle, two for the thing, and then we have four so if we hit another cycler we can go up to all right i'm not gonna play the search then under the youtube video goes out every time that the internet goes out unfortunately so this is definitely oh it's just a fumigate but on top top and it wasn't an approach that kind of it's really nice for us Yeah, it kind of disappointed me because, like I said, I thought that match was really nice. I guess they're the same thing. I would rather have a random cast out in my hand than the others. I'll put them on the bottom in the actual right order this time. I'm from Eastern Kentucky. The Hills of Appalachia. Hey, man, what's up? I like new standard. I typically like standard as long as I'm not playing like infinite mirror matches. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I actually think there's more of a chance that I'll need a sensor of this game than a cast out. 
As crazy as that sounds when they have nine mana. I think there's a higher chance that I'll need that because like I can censor a uh, for example I can censor a uh, settled wreckage this turn on the four East Tennessee here oh we we might have met then at some point I've played in a lot of events around like Bristol and stuff Appalachia? Fair enough. <laughs> That's this de definitely not offensive to us. I can't I can't I can't say anything about other people, but I think that's pretty much commonly how it spoke here. So I don't care if he goes back to eight. It doesn't bother me at all. Uh, do you got a link for us? I'd love to see it. I had fun the day I played it. Mr. Matthew Folks insulted me so much though that I got uh I got a little uh embarrassed. <laughs> it's just good natured ribbon. Will I pronounce something correctly? That's amazing. I guess we'll cycle this one too, then. We don't really need it anymore. It's just going to give us four more drakes, and we can protect these four drakes with a counter spell. So we need something similar to, like, a disallow to stop this. Uh, certainly not using a counter spell to, like, try to protect the disallow. Because we can always cycle the other thing and get there. Uh, based on his mana, we're just going to go ahead and cycle this one, too. Because I can't think of anything that's commonly played in the blue-white decks that stops this from being lethal. We've saw the majority of our deck. I'm pretty confident that we're going to draw a countervailing wins next turn anyway, and I'm positive we're going to draw two of them over the next two turns, and he's not going to beat us in one turn. All right. Let's click that, and let's go over here and read. Gets to play some absurdly busted red white cards, GD, with a latch sound in the middle. I copied the list. All right, let me let me pull that over here. The long A sounds are for outsiders. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's pull this over and take a quick look at it. Oh, it looks pretty nice. Path of Metal did a lot of work for me. Kind of interesting that you don't have So Scar Mage because So Scar Mage plus Path of Metals actually kind of combo pretty well together. I think this is pretty similar to the deck that we tried on stream. Yeah, I think this. We played the version one of this deck back when we only had two Relentless Raptors and back when Bristling Hydra was legal, and that was not a fun time. <laughs> uh, anyway, so in this match, we definitely want this, we definitely want this, we definitely want this, we definitely want these. And, uh, sometimes we want bindings. We're going to try out this card. I don't know how good it is versus approach, but I want to try it out in general. Um, cards that are typically bad in this match. Um, the renewed fates, or sorry, the settled wreckages aren't particularly good because cats are about the only thing you ever have to worry about killing. Uh, and the renewed fates aren't very good either. Um... I think I want to bring a binding in. I think I kind of want to bring both bindings in, but I'm not sure what to take out. Let's read the chat again, sorry. Yeah, blue glacial fortress decks are pretty fun too. Wait, the chat, the chat is offended by what I said. I don't know what I said that chat that Chad's offended by, but Chad is offended by what I've said. Yeah, the Path of Metal was great for us when we tried the deck. I think we're going to try this. Ha ha, no, no. Oh, I, no, six, oh, it's just 60 cards. 
I think I'm going to submit this. Oh, fair, fair. When Rogue Refiner was legal, yeah, but I, I meant I meant to say when Bristling Hydra was commonly played. Good catch, though. But yeah, yeah, I meant I meant to say when Rogue Refiner was more commonly played. Or sorry, Bristling Hydra was more commonly played. My bad. <laughs> Sometimes I say a lot of stupid things. So the farms in, are obviously not particularly great in this match, but you need something to like try to get past. Uh, Gear hulks and stuff. Um, I like them on the draw, on the play. I 100% generally take them out. Uh, our hand's very medium. We've drawn the wrong half of our deck. But having the attack into five fours that come out often on turn three was just, just really rough for us. Pretty sure I'm just going to cast this countervailing winds here. Or, so, sorry, cycle this counter. Nah, I'm probably not going to cycle it. If he, if he misses a land drop, I'm not going to cycle it. It's looking like he might be missing a land drop since he moved to a second phase. Yeah, I'm not going to cycle it then. I'm just going to hard slam to Drake Haven. If he's got a second sensor, that's one less chance for him to draw a land. I don't really care if he censors the first one. If he has a negate, it's not something that I'm going to be in a position to fight about anytime soon. Alright, so there's a Jace's defeat. <laughs> the accent's musical. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, so he hit his land, and things get rougher and rougher the, the more and more lands that he has. I almost want to use countervailing winds on that. I think my hand's weak enough that I'm not going to. Yeah, I saw I saw one that five owed as well, but you have to admit you're not seeing them three you're not seeing them two to four times a league right now. Hey MTG player 1919, thank you so much for the follow. Man, MJ is a hero to the people. Let's cycle this too. Really just want to find some kind of action. You can't really give them infinite amounts of turns. They'll always find a way to get there. And the, the hieroglyphic illumination is basically what we're wanting to draw. Yeah, it is 220. Oh, 730, man. That's not fun. I would censor that if I hit a censor, so I'll go ahead and cycle this just to see. Alright, no censor. I don't think it's worth using two illuminations on. Or I don't think it's worth cycling an illumination to try to hit a censor. Because I just would barely censor it to begin with. And I was mostly well, I was mostly going to censor it because they'd missed a the land. I don't typically censor that when they don't. Right, well, they found a search. Kind of hope they counterspell this. They did not counterspell that. I think Search Raskanta is good enough to do this versus. Hopefully, if they counterspell this, it's with a non negate spell. Like, hopefully, it's a, dis a dissolve or like a supreme will. That way, we can supreme will. Rip. It was almost one. He changed his mind and negated it. Bad times. In this match, I feel like it's typically who gets the first search for Ascanta just runs away with the game. I'm actually just going to cycle this. I 
Yeah, well, this isn't great for us. Uh, so they can flip that next turn. There's nothing we can really do about it. We could, like, try to cycle into a cast out or something. That's probably not worth it. Could have looked for, or could have cycled to see if we had a Forsake the Worldly, but he still had Counterspell mana up. He chose not to flip it, so the card he wanted was good enough that he didn't flip it. That sounds great. What card is that good? So there's our search for Ascanta. Nine cards in our hand. Don't think I want to miss a land drop. Hey, Tyler, what's up, man? Hope you're having a good day. So this is probably a cast out. Oh, nope, it's a glimmer. Okay. So these pharma markets will look terrible. Maybe they just shouldn't be in the deck. What would they be if it wasn't a pharma market? It'd be like a Regal Caracol? No, it'd be like an Ixalan's Binding or a Regal Caracol. Ixalan's Binding. Or a Caracol, I guess. I guess either of those would have been better this game. A Alpha... Alpha bet on it. Appreciate for the follow, man. Sorry about having no uh, alerts or anything, guys. Our stream manager, Corey Coolcat, didn't want them. So what's this? Three. Forsake the worldly. I would negate that, so. If I would negate that, I think it's worth this. Still think it's worth looking for a counterspell in this particular situation. Alright, well we didn't get there. Card's very good, that's for sure. Maybe he just didn't bring in the creature, creature package and we don't need any of these things. I mean, that's very possible, right? Hey, Dothreek, what's up? Oh, we now officially have a Drake, but he still has five cards in his hand. I have not tried that. I've saw it on a few people's streams. For example, I've saw it on MJ's stream, but I've not really looked. I don't even know how to make alerts wor or alerts work, man. I'm like computer illiterate, and when I read. Uh, when I read guides on how to do things, it like goes over my head and I literally can't follow step-by-step -step instructions. Like it's, it's insane how illiterate I am computer-wise. Well, this is a good old country boy. He's six cards down now. Yeah, I'll use this main phase, I guess. There's some things that we could hit that we would want to play. Is 
is going to forsake the worldly this, but we've already got our trigger. So we're fine with that. It's got multiple forsake the worldlies. Ooh. Well, that one's a piece of candy if it actually resolves. It'll be hard for it to resolve right now, though. Especially when he still has three cards in hand. Yeah, it's pretty hard for it to resolve there. Let me pull this up on the other screen. Thanks, man. I'll, I'll pull that up and check it out later. For sure. Yeah, so we know it's five cards now, now for him. So it's four cards down now. So we'll go ahead and review it him. So we got to approach, but he obviously has several more in his deck. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do what I'm about to do. I'm scared enough of him now that I'm going to attack with this Drake and I'm going to use my Pharma Market on it. Yeah, putting these in the deck was just bad. Getting severely punished. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and dump both of those now. If I play this this turn, I can't cast anything and it gives him like a chance to use cast out or something on it. So we're going to try to play it next turn. It's a good chance he drew that this turn. Alright, so we'd like to draw one of our negates now. That is in fact not one of our negates. I think it's worth going ahead and playing because at any approach he draws the game's just over. All right. Well, top deck mode. It's pretty obvious we don't have a counter spell or we would protect a card like that, so. So if he ever draws it, he's just going to go for it. He tapped a white mana during his upkeep, so I assume we're dead now. Oh, no, we're not. It was just a cycle. He tapped three mana quickly that time, so... It's probably... Yeah. I'd like to draw our big 7-7. Seven seven. Might need another negate on our sideboard. Three, four. Okay. This has to be. This about has to be it. If we see any card go to the top of his library, we are we are donezo. And there was a card that went to the top of his library. Yep, donezo. Nope, not donezo. He wouldn't leave a cast out on top, would he? Can we win with Drakes at this point? I don't think we can win with Drakes at this point. I'm just going to cycle this. Well, 
We are in fact playing the Parallel Tide. I uh, think it's our only chance to win this game. Uh oh, he drew this. Oh wow. We've we've already gone through uh, both of our sarcophaguses. I don't know what it takes for us to win from here. Also, don't really know why I'm holding the chef at Dunes. Nope, the Drake Haven's under both of them. Uh, both of our abandoned sarcophaguses are already in our graveyard. Oh, and he's got another field of rune. He's got three colorless lands. Maybe he's only got one approach in his deck. Don't know if we can beat that. Oh, we're certainly not putting that in our graveyard. Hello. <laughs> well, we drew it. Don't know if it's going to be good enough. Hey, is there? Yep. Uh, stream actually every day. We've streamed every day since July 9th. Not missed one. I don't think I'm going to use the thing. I don't want to just die to Supreme Will. Or, I don't want to die to Sensor and I want to keep countervailing winds up. So our only real chance now is like, I don't know what it is. It feels like he can mill us out from 18 pretty easy when he has a Rivulet in play already. So we have like 14 cards in our library. Feels like he can mill us out real easy. Oh, cool, man. Uh, appreciate it. Well, all right. Well, we will. Uh, we will hopefully draw in the gate. That's not in the gate, but it is a hard counter spell at least. Yeah, that's good people. Big, big fan of Matt. So if he's got two counter spells, like... <laughs> rip. Oh, well, he didn't. He's only got two approaches in his deck. We have a good chance, then. Is he going to cast, like, Fumigate now? Yeah, we'll take our card. I like how I told it to yield to that, and it's like, no, bro, I'm not yielding to that. We're just like casting nothing else at this point. Go, go, Speed Racer. If he does have another approach in his deck, he's definitely going to be able to get to it, though. I think I'm just putting it back in my hand, ain't I? I'm just putting it back in my... I'm just putting it back. I just realized we only have seven minutes left, so, like, I actually have to play this game a little bit faster because there could be a game three. I'd say I'd say I'd say it's a favorite for her to be a game three at this point. He said not to put that in his graveyard. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. I think he's a favorite to win this game. Right, he can have that one because Forsake the Worldly doesn't cost us cards. He 
He's down to 16 cards in his library. He found a negate here. Um, because I want to keep our cards to protect from the next spell. If we'd used all three of our cards then, we couldn't protect the next spell. Oh, I thought that was during his end step. Oh my god, I'm a trash can. I thought that was during his end step. I have to just yield to all of this stuff now. I've already yielded to that more than once. Do we have not drawn a negate this game? Alright, well we're dead. So all of our negates are in our bottom two cards. If you do it in response to the trigger... Oh, you're, the, the Forsake the Worldly? I didn't have it, did I? You're right. I guess I drew it. Sorry. Like I said, I'm playing super fast and loose. I have six minutes left. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. I'm I'm used to like Banisher Priest type effects where if you do that, they're gone forever. So like that was really bad of me. Luckily, it didn't matter, but like it was really bad of me. Good call. Good call. I'll remember that for the future. Our babies. We needed you. Alright, so how do we win this game in six minutes? How do we win this game in six minutes? Six minutes ago? I think this is how we're going to try to win it in six minutes. Wait, what? I'm only supposed to put one renewed fade in. Think this is how we're going to try? I feel like we need another counter spell on our sideboard. Alright, he did keep settled the wreckages in though. We saw almost this whole deck. I feel favored in this match if we get to actually make decisions. Uh, we're certainly keeping this hand. Uh, search for Ascanta on turn two. It's absolutely everything you want. Yeah, I'm just going to try to play fast now. I apologize if, like, I'm not paying as much attention to chat as I normally would. Because, as you guys know, like, I live just to talk to chat. Like, all I want to do is talk to chat at all times. If he plays his own search for Ascanta, we're just slamming Drake. Always yield to this trigger. Farm lands from my graveyard. No, I actually want lands. Because we have two Drake Havens, I'm just slamming the first one. But hit it all. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to catch up on time so we don't lose two matches by time this league. Because that would suck. I'll put that one in the graveyard. Um... Actually, just to go ahead and play this. I'm not going to throw the second Drake Haven away. One of the things that I do is I play with all my stops, and I probably shouldn't, but especially considering as much as I still misclick. Um, well, I can't, I can't try to counterspell that, so I guess we won't. Nope. We'll keep that. This is uh, the real MTGO game, yes. Uh, I can't get you to link right now because, as you can see, like chess clocks are a relevant thing in the game state that I'm currently in. I'm going to go ahead and try to cast this. It 
say there's a good chance that this gets counterspelled and or my search for Ascanta gets killed and or both. I think there's like a fair shot that both of those things currently happen. I do not want to put that land in my graveyard. It's probably the last land I won't put in our graveyard for a while. Still a full minute ahead of us. Uh, yeah, if he gets that back, there's nothing we can do about it. Our deck just takes too much time to play. Uh, you can buy boosters in game or you can just buy the singles. But it's just like real life magic. It's uh, very robust. There's uh, a lot of different intricacies to like managing a collection and stuff. I shouldn't say it's just like real life magic. It's very similar to real life magic. Uh, we'll not protect this. It's actually getting further ahead of us on time because we have more triggers to deal with. No. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's even more triggers. The positive note is we can protect it at least once. I think it's going to be hard for him to win from here. He's only got three cards in hand. And we're not casting anything but this dude. Looks like a Regal Caracal or something, and then we'll fight a Counterspell War for a card like that. Is Primal Tide going to do work? Uh, we'll take the Drake Haven. Sorry that I can't read anything you guys are saying right now. Down to six. It's locked up. I think he's dead. When it's locked up like that, that means they're typically conceding. Primal Tide! Woo! All right, well, we got the 4 1. We should have had the 5 0. We had round 1 1, but we disconnected. So that's kind of unfortunate. Man, the Primal Tide was great. He obviously had a bad draw, but. Like, it's still great. How do I make this go back to full size? Like, how do I make this go back to full size? I have no idea how we make that go back to full size. Man, it'd been nice to get the 5 0. But no, the, the, the Primal Tide was great. We're not going to file for comp. No. no. No, we're not filing for comp. It wasn't an MTGO issue. It was a my internet sucks issue. Had nothing to do with the MTGO client. It had, I got disconnected for five minutes, had to power cycle, blah, 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 blah. All right, so anyway, we got the 4-1. Um, comments about the deck. The deck felt pretty good. I feel like we need another counterspell on the sideboard. We, we had a third counterspell on the sideboard, but we took the counterspell out for the Primal Tide. Um, I'm wondering if it's possible that we can just sideboard out. I wonder if, I wonder if we can actually just cut all the Regal Caracals at this point. I brought the Regal Caracals back in when Rampaging for Ostodon got banned because the lifelink was irrelevant again. I wasn't playing them before it got banned. 
But I feel like there's a chance that maybe we can just cut all the caracals now. The caracals are still good versus like, or fine versus like merfolk and stuff. But, uh, hey, Ali Exander? Ali Exander? Is that how you spell your name? I don't pronounce it. Got time for a friendly no stakes game versus amulet for funsies? Sure, I'll play one more game. Kick me a kick me a game invite flame. Since our first our first two rounds got ruined anyway, I guess we can play one more. For sure. I gotta feel like this has to be a bad match for me, but I'm down. I feel like Forsake the Worldly deserves to be in the main deck right now too. Let's see if I can catch up. It it is a separate game from the card game, yes. Um, it, you do not get codes or anything with the boosters this time. Um, they're putting out, uh, it's in beta right now. Maybe you can sign up for it if you're interested, but like Google, uh, MTGO Arena, maybe you can get into the beta, but there's a beta of a program that's more based on a Hearthstone model that, uh, that's kind of nice. Um, I feel, well, like I've, I've said, I said it before the game started and I said it, uh, during that last round, I feel like I need a few more counter spells, but like versus control, I feel like, I feel like all of these cards are already coming in. Well, I can't, hold on. Let me move to a list where I can move things. Let me get to a list where I can move things. Uh, that's not right. That's the wrong deck and all. Like I feel... All right, so apparently, apparently my okay here it is. I couldn't find it. So like, I'm already bringing in versus. Let me scoot that back over so I can see the chat. I'm already bringing in all of this versus control, so it's like kind of hard to find more cards to sideboard out. But I do kind of want the third and fourth negate, or like, like maybe the third negate and one disallow or something. I do feel like I need more, but like I'm already bringing in eight cards in these matches, and it's hard to find cards to take out. Because, like, if he's playing any control match with, like, Scarab, I can't take out all of the rafts like we did then. Uh, I will not be at the draft tomorrow, unfortunately. I'll be watching my papa. My grandmother's still not home from uh, her broken hip surgery. She's still in the hospital. So, until, until my grandmother gets back home, I pretty much can't leave the house Monday through Friday. I have to watch my great-grandfather. Or, I guess it's not great-grandfather. It's just grandfather. So, so I'll be I'll be hanging out with my papa all tomorrow and watching him. Unfortunately, I would like to be able to draft. Uh, I've been drafting it quite a bit online. Um, are you gonna invite Flame, or am I supposed to invite you? Here, I'll just challenge you, since apparently you're not challenging me. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do one more match. It's okay. I already got it, friend. You just have to hit accept. So we're gonna do one more match. Amulet's playing a Grixis Primal, or sorry, Flame Gus is playing a Grixis Grimal Amulet deck, and it's pretty cool. No, it's not a job. I enjoy spending time with my papa. It, it sucks sometimes that like I don't get to leave the house when I want or whatever. But I mean, I mean they do a ton for me, and I I, I appreciate everything they do for me. No, I mean I, I don't do much at all. It's like I said, all it does is keep me around the house. I don't I don't do very much. I do very very little. I'm basically I'm basically just here in case he falls and hurts himself. He had a stroke a few years back and like he has problems walking and stuff now. But that's basically all I do is like I'm here in case he falls. Like he, I mean, I make I make some of his food and stuff like that, but I just make it while I'm making mine. So I mean, it's it's not like a big thing. Take care, Tyler. Appreciate it, man. You know everything's fine. She's just uh she's just going for rehab and stuff. You know, no, it's no big deal. I mean, obviously a hip breaking your hips never good, but like she's over the pain and stuff. She just has to get through the rehab now. But like the uh, insurance company doesn't want to pay for her to go to rehab. And the doctor doesn't want to let her come home because he doesn't think it's safe for her to be home. So, like, they're just kind of having that tug of war, and she's been in the hospital about, you know, about a uh, about a week longer than she should have. 
the insurance company should just man up and stop complaining? Because that's what's going to happen in the end anyway. And they actually have really good insurance, so I don't understand this at all. Uh, yes. Our card. I'm not cycling to cast out because, um, we kind of know what our opponent's playing. He's playing a Primal Amulet deck, but I wouldn't get rid of my first cast out even versus, uh, an unknown opponent because anytime I see black blue mana, I'm worried about Scarab and it's one of the few things we have to fight a Scarab long term. I got milled out because he was ramped. <laughs> that sucks. I'm gonna need you to send me your list someday, Murph, because I feel like I feel like my list could use some work. Hey Pop Bros, thank you so much for the follow. I'm sorry that we don't have any alerts or anything. Our stream manager Corey Coolcat just doesn't doesn't like alerts for some reason. Is that kinda of rude? Wish we got to see this card. Alright, so another cast out. I will put one the one cast out in the grave, though I could have drew that one. Uh drawing that one's clearly acceptable and possibly even right. But I'm was kinda wanting to find untapped lands. It does. I, I, I don't understand. I, I don't. I don't want to make this like some platform to like complain or like argue or anything like that. Like I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to set the mood down. But I kind of just don't understand how an insurance company that has never seen her, never been near her, think they know more than the doctor that's seeing her every day. And like the doctor's telling them X and X has to happen, and they're saying no, no. We, we think you're wrong. But, but like, they've sent nobody to... It'd be, it'd be different if, like, they had their own doctor checking her and, uh, like, coming to different conclusions or whatever. Because not everybody in the medical field has the same opinions on everything. But I just don't know how you can blindly just, like, look at paperwork and say, you know, hey, this 80-year-old woman that is five foot one and super frail, you know, I just I don't, just don't know how you can come to determine determination that you know how healthy she is based on a piece of paper, and not you know especially when her physician that saw her her entire life slash sitting there and taking her through this is saying otherwise. It kind of, kind of just blows my mind. It blows my mind to the point where I don't even understand how it's actually legal to do that. But I'm not a doctor, and like I said, it's just weird. But again, like I said, I apologize. I don't want to. I don't want to bring the stream down or anything by whining. It just some things just don't make sense to me. Let's just put it that way. I think there's a good chance that he counterspells this here. I'm actually, going to go ahead and cycle. Uh, apparently, I'm not going to cycle because I've gone too far. I'm going to cycle this right now, too, to see if we hit a land for the turn. Apparently I'm lagging again, because I think I clicked that for blue. Alright, wasn't lagging. I just can't click. Alright. I didn't want to let him untap, because... Because I'm a bad magic player, and I should have probably let him untap. He did. He, it might not have been main deck. He did use this. I have no idea what it could have been. Could have been anything. That could have come from the sideboard. I should have definitely cast out during his turn, though. I don't know what I was thinking. Are you going to the PTQs, Tyler, Sunday? Because if so, you'll see me there, hopefully. Hey, Delun Taker. Thank you so much for the follow. 
Again, I apologize, guys. I don't have really sweet emotes. Uh, I blame stream manager Corey Coolcat for that. He won't give us any. And by emotes, I mean like follower alerts, not emotes. We actually have an emote. I just misspoke. Uh, I actually want lands. Want to land pretty bad there. Because now we can counterspell and protect. He's up to six cards in his hand, though. I really like this card. I got this card in limited the other day, and I was just... It was so much better than I thought it was. It was... It was degrees better than I thought it was. I think I misread it. I didn't realize you drew a card. All right, we're going to go ahead and counterspell this. I assume he's going to counterspell back, but... He doesn't have to have the counterspell back, and if he does have the counterspell back... It's not the end of the world. The cool thing about this card flipping is we do have Field of Runes in our deck. Right, so he just had two. feel like we're in a decent shape at the moment. Like, he didn't approach player yesterday to use Caracol instead of Disallow because he was too cheap to buy Disallows. Oh, cancel, cancel. I read that wrong. <laughs> I've actually saw a few people. I saw a guy once that had, this was back when Scarab Gods were around $47. They hadn't quite peaked yet. And he had three Scarab Gods in his deck, but he didn't have Disallows. And I was just like, what? You bought three Scarab Gods and you didn't buy Disallows for your blue-black control deck? He's like, nah, man, cancels are just as good. I'm like, no. No, they're not. <laughs> but, like, so, like, he clearly wasn't budget if he can afford the the other stuff. He just didn't think they were worth the money. Nah, yeah, not worth the money, I guess. I, I don't know. I always thought that was odd, though. I think that was actually on stream. Like, it just confused me. Because he played the cancel early in the game. And uh, I just I just decided he was a budget build. We were in the friendly league, right? And I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to play around XX and X because of this. <laughs> and nope, nope, he just had him. He got me. He was just trying to fake me. The entire time, he was just playing me. I keep making my land drops. I mean, that, that's fair. That could have happened. Really? I, ho I hope you have fun with it, Luciano. I would suggest uh, potentially making at least one more negate in the sideboard. The Regal Caracol has under impressed me tonight, but... Th this, this deck's a lot of fun to play. I will say that about this deck. This deck is a lot of fun to play. Alright, I guess we have to try to counterspell that one. It's kind of interesting that he actually has to use that on our Field of Runes and not our Search for Azkamp in this spot. Stan I, I, I do like Standard. I think Standard gets a lot of unjust hate. Like, is the format perfect? No, the format's not perfect. No, I think the format's very good. I need to get into Popper. Popper's like the format that I really need to play. Oh, that's a May too. Interesting. That is interesting. I think I'm going to start with this. Apparently I've not always yielded to that yet this match. Alright, we're going to go ahead and grab this away too. I want to put pressure on him and try to win the game. So the flip is a May. 
Flames just noticed it too. It's kind of weird that like some of those flips are maze and other ones aren't. Twenty four life though, so. I don't, I don't think all eternal formats are like that. I think there's a lot of play in modern. I think, I think it's a little, I think there's too many, too many decks and there's like a little variance in the uh, pairings, but I think there's a lot of play, especially in the close matches. I think there's a lot of play. Um, I also think there's a lot of play in legacy as well. I don't like the formats where like, you just play like Black Lotus or Soul Ring and because you drew Black Lotus, Soul Ring or like Mana Vault or whatever, the game's just over. But I think I think there's a lot of play in those other formats. I think there's a lot of play. In, I, I think Popper has tons of play in it. I think Popper is actually a pretty robust format, and that might be because there's not been a reason for like professionals and stuff to break it yet. But uh, yeah, I mean things like that do happen. They 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 are a lot of. Uh, there are a lot of things like that in the format, but in general, I don't think, uh, I guess we'll look for a counter spell. Can't see the cards. Get over there. Oh, wow. I want both of those. Uh, I guess he's in a braid deck, so I'm just going to get the one that could potentially let me win this turn. This might be a little bit greedy. But I feel like if we just get their banner sarcophagus, like, we could just get blown out. Alright. Looks like the greed didn't matter. Like, certainly not over, though. Like, he, he's a swelter to Sun's deck. We've already saw it, so, like, if he just has to kill V's. Hour of Devastation, similar concept. Actually gonna just go ahead and look and see if we can find a answer to that before we have to worry about it anymore. I think I'm gonna take the cast out and just go ahead and answer that card before we have to really, really worry about it. So now he has to build back up to that. Well, he's tapping a lot of mana. Is this a uh, star of extinction now? We lose our Ascanta? Maybe I should have just got their band of sarcophagus a couple turns ago. Oh, wow. No, wait, if it's Revel to Riches, we still have a chance to beat that one. Uh, do we have any sorcery speed spells we would play? I think we do, but I think there's enough uh, non-sorcery speed spells that I don't want to... Uh... I think Revel and Riches might be what the card's called. It's another Primal Amulet, and he's down to one card. Uh, well, we're just going to take this one. They cycle it into another cycler. It's probably the win. Uh, it could already just be the win. He may not have an instant speed thing. Nope, oh, well, he did. All right, so I guess maybe it was good to play around our braid earlier. We'll go ahead and play the second Drake Haven. So I think Revel and Riches requires him to get an untapped step, right? So we're kind of just looking for any cycler again? Right, we'll take the one mana one. Uh, 
that should be it. I don't think he can answer both of these. Yeah. Okay. So we got game one. All right. Going into game two. Uh, I know what we're going to be sideboarding a lot of out. <laughs> um, so we're going to bring in basically everything that I brought in before. Like, all of these cards feel just good in the control matches in general. Um, having the the Primal Tide gives us a chance to beat Lost Legacy. Uh, I don't think we want the Renewed Fates, and I think we want to get rid of most of, if not all, of the Wraths. I've not actually saw him play a creature in the two games we played, so... Don't really want to regal Caracol on my deck either, so I'm just going to bring that in for a Sackler. I think I want to bring this in too. Maybe two cats are just better. You guys think two cats are just better than two Renewed Fates? Yeah, sure. It gives us another avenue to attack. The Renewed Fates are obviously bad. I was just bringing them in the cycle. <laughs> I would love to see that. Okay, it is at his upkeep. Sweet. I thought so. I sold four today, but I hadn't re I don't think I'd read them. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. We have a turn two search for Ascanta, and that's really what put us in the game last time. This card's just so amazing in these blue base mirrors. In my approach deck, you'll notice that I have three in my main and a fourth in the side. Like, I just highly, highly, highly value this card. I may overvalue it. Sometimes I lose games because I value it so highly, and like, fight wars and stuff for this card that, like, maybe I shouldn't be fighting. I'm not going to play their Banner Sarcophagus. One, because anything that we get rid of that cycled gets exiled. But two, he is in a Braid deck, and I just feel like, uh, since he's in a Braid deck, I don't want to play this until we can get some kind of value from it. Let's go ahead and put that in the graveyard. Try to draw something that matters. There's a good chance that I just go ahead and try to binding the gateway. I think that gateway is a pretty dangerous card. Journey to Eternity to loop Fulminator Mage to blow up lands. <laughs> Saffron Olive plays sweet decks. I think I'm just going to try to binding this. Farmlands to the graveyard, sure. Most cards are going to be going to our graveyard at this point. That might have been a little bit greedy, but him flipping that gateway could be absolutely just crushing. I wonder if gateway is the new way to, to win these mirrors. I wonder if this card's in certain decks as good as Search for Ascanta, maybe? I might try one of these in the sideboard of our next approach deck. I mean, I guess it dies to a braid. <laughs> so he's got another one, so he's already at two. I really like this card. I like how you untap this one. Uh... No, we'll keep that. Polis deck's fun too. Like, those gateways are sweet. I'm definitely interested in testing gateway and something. Oh, uh, he forgot to use gateway at the end of turn. Well, that was a small little gift for us.
Now he's gonna main phase use that. Think I'm gonna allow that? I don't really want to, but I feel like we have to answer the gateway so badly that, like, I don't feel like I can afford to stop it. Hello. This to the graveyard. Nope. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed that when I was posting my uh, four play sets on eBay last night, I was just like, "Wow." It's like, I'm going to get 60 some dollars a play set out of these? When did that happen? It's kind of crazy to think about. So next turn we get to jam this thing. Where we get to play around Spell Pierce too. This turn. I believe between the Primal Titan and our Countervailing Winds and our Bandit Sarcophagus, we'll probably be able to close this one out. Primal Tides have been good in these blue blaze smears. Don't, 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 don't make me discard, Brahim. Don't do it. <laughs> hmm. I think he's trying to decide whether he's going to play around the gate or not. I kind of just want to buy a bunch of this card. I really like this thing. Maybe I'm overrating it, but no maximum hand size. I get to draw a bunch of stuff. There's like so many things you could get right here. I think he probably went and got in the gate. I kind of don't want to put a cast out in my graveyard. I think I'm going to, though, because we have our Bandit Sarcophagus in our hand. And our plan's really just to use this thing this game. What if he went and got, like, uh, some kind of split-second confiscation coup that's not actually a legal spell? Hi, my name is... My name's Nezzy. What is this thing? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, you may choose that spell. You may copy new targets for it. Alright, that's kind of cool. Large fan. Alright, so... We'll go ahead and put that in our graveyard, because we're coming up on the terms that we get to... Uh, So I feel like this game just got locked out. I wonder if we can just play uh, Primal Tide Control Decks. Like, maybe we don't need Approach and maybe we don't need Drake anymore. Maybe we can just play Primal Tide Control Decks. How crazy would that be? Well, he can, he can obviously have that. Our countervailing winds are earmarked for things that kill us. And things that uh, aggravate us. <laughs> oh God! I said so much information. <laughs> Primal Tide. 
Primal Tide. Do, 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 do. Much Primal Tide. Does anybody else like this card as much as I am, or am I just like being sounding a fool? Yeah, I guess we'll just draw another card. Countervailing winds? Nah. Actually, we'll go ahead and counterspell that because of mana issues. I don't think he could get anything that I care a whole lot about. But I want my mana for the following turn. Three cards is steep, but remember, every time, every time that they like play a removal spell or anything on it, you get one of those cards back, right? Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can't play this, 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 and this again. So, uh, I guess we'll just pass here and hold up our counter spells. Yeah, it is a steep cause. Uh, what are the best and worst matchups? Um, the best matchups are typically any like green based mid range deck. Like, not the super fast decks that like play Lone Tusk Cub, Glint, Winding Constrictor, and like try to kill you on turn four and five. But like anything. Anything kind of that goes a little bit bigger with like, you know, like bristling hydras and a bunch of five drops. Like you're super good versus them. And your worst match is probably tokens because they gain absurd amounts of life. And they have several ways to kill your drakes. But, and they have sweepers. Oh, you got you you know the second that it got spoiled I started talking about it in chat. This is the deck I said I thought it'd be great in too. Yeah, that that's true. Chupacabra is like pretty good versus it, but like are they gonna leave Chupacabras in their deck just for your like random seven drop legend that you can like pay three cards and still protect? Probably not. Um but yeah, no. So got to see, I got to see two matches in a row where this card just shined like a bright, just just like a bright and shining star. I'm trying to quote Boogie Nights, but I don't remember the exact quote. Yeah, yeah. In certain matches, I would definitely do something of that nature, but in this match where we already have this thing going, I don't think we actually have to. I was pretty well just going to protect this thing by using counter spells. Yeah. The the one positive thing about tokens is there's a good chance that if you're playing it in paper, you're at least going to get the unintentional draw. Anyway, let's go back to the deck. Uh, scoot these over. Oh, definitely not. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, 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 fair. The Flame Gust deck's really sweet. Last night he tutored for uh, uh, like the trash to treasure combo on us and just crushed us with it. It, it was pretty sweet. But yeah, now this deck felt pretty good tonight. I'm a little sad that we didn't get another trophy because we were we we're probably going to win that game one, but who knows. Um, the deck felt good. Uh, moving the settle to the sideboard felt fine. I actually like having four drakes in the main deck. A lot of people just go with three drakes in the main deck. Um, I don't know what to do about the sideboard. I'm thinking that we can actually just remove Regal Caracol at this point. I wonder if we can remove like all three Regal Caracols and add like two Negates and another uh, another Primal Tide. That might be what I try the next time we play it. Though, I actually don't think I'm going to play it 
anytime soon, so we'll have more information about the meta. Uh, the main deck felt about where I want it. There's the new Ascend Land that I wouldn't mind trying in the main deck, and then I wouldn't mind having a second field of runes because of all of the sweet flip lands and the new Ascend Land and stuff, but like, I'm a little afraid to go down on colored mana sources. As you saw in those matches, we like sometimes didn't have all the colored mana we wanted to begin with. Uh, I'm not really great at making mana bases, but... Uh, we started with one Field of Rune, and the Field of Rune was very good today. I kind of want to go up to a second Field of Rune. <laughs> Man, Astro Slide, you're bringing back memories now. Yeah, you got you you got to get you some uh, you got to get you some primal tide, man. All right. Well, anyway, I think I'm gonna hop off here tonight, and I'm gonna go grab some food. I appreciate all of you guys coming by. I appreciate JJ for the massive donation, um, the resub. I uh, highly appreciate the resub. I'm super uh, from uh, Trayvon. Uh, Tra uh, Teravon. Um, Appreciate Flame Guts for giving us that bonus match at the end, especially because the beginning of the stream was so bad with our connection issues. And I want to highly apologize to you guys that I've had such bad connection lately. I wish I knew what to do about it, uh, but I have no idea what we can do about it. Um, I do not know what we're going to play yet tomorrow. It's probably going to be something uh, a little, uh, a little more... I don't know how you phrase it, a little more competitive um, because I am testing for a PPTQ on Sunday, but I don't know what deck it is yet. Uh, we might we might try Abzan Tokens. I think Abzan Tokens is pretty decent right now, and there's a few cards I want to test in it, so we may, we may try Abzan Tokens, but um, keep in mind if you guys like what you saw that we stream every single day, and if you really like what you, we stream almost exclusively standard, if you really like what you saw, you can follow the links below the stream to both my YouTube, where you can see every time we go live and all the deck lists we play, assuming that I remember to type things like that, and my YouTube, where you can see almost all of our past streams. Highly appreciate subs, especially on the YouTube, because they're taking our cash away, unless we can get a thousand of them. Um, but and, and it's free, so like it doesn't hurt anything. But if you don't want to, you don't want to. It's no big deal. But again, you know, if you like standard, come by here. We try to stream every day, you know, roughly starting somewhere between, typically somewhere between like 10 and 11 p.m. Eastern. But, uh, yep, we're going to hop out of here and we're going to host uh, Matthew Folks. He's playing the Jun Monster deck that the Candio was doing so well with, so... Hopefully it'll be pretty interesting, and I'm probably going to go uh, make some dinner and come back and watch him for a little bit myself. But uh, uh, keep in mind, though, before I host him, I do want to say that uh, he uses some like colorful language and stuff. And if that's the type of thing that offends you, you should probably not watch him. Um, but I, I do, I do want to give him the host though, because he seems like he's the most competitive standard player online at the moment. And I generally like to host a guy that I plan on watching myself. But anyway, take care. Thank you guys all for stopping by. Sorry for rambling so long. And again, super appreciate the hosts and all the follows.